In this tutorial, the mixing efficiency in tablet coder is investigated. The three components of EDEM will be introduced. The creator, where you set up your model, the simulator, where you run your simulation, and the analyst, which is the post-processing section of EDEM. First, set the units as shown. Next, create a new bulk material in the bulk material section. Then, define the bulk material properties. Lastly, set the interaction parameters and rename the bulk material. For the next step, create three types of particles. They are all made of three aligned spheres and are essentially the same. However, it is necessary to have different types for the purposes of post-processing and analysis. Create the first particle, input the size distribution, calculate its properties, and then rename it. Then make two copies of the bulk material which will also make copies of the particle. Rename the copies. Now, move on to creating an equipment material, renaming it and entering the required properties and the interaction parameters for all three bulk materials. Following this, import the provided geometry. Select the appropriate units in the import settings, leave the remaining options as they are and complete the process. Once imported, merge all of the blades within the coder into a single geometry. Assign a linear rotation kinematic to the drum geometry and specify the start time, velocity and axis of rotation. Copy this motion to the blades with no added delay. Add a factory to the drum geometry. Change the factory type to static. Select total mass and set the value. Then select the material to be produced by the factory and assign it an initial velocity. Make two copies of the factory and rename them. Stagger their start times as shown and ensure that each factory is set to produce the correct particles. Retain the default contact models in the physics section and check that gravity and auto update from geometry are enabled in the environment section. Proceed to save the final setup of the simulation. For the next part of the tutorial, switch to the simulator. Set the time step and grid size as shown and select the appropriate simulator engine. Once all settings are entered, start the simulation. Switch to the analyst to start post-processing and analyzing results. First, assign different colors to each particle type. Replay the simulation to observe the mixing process. Then, create a bin group for more precise analysis. And set the number of bins as shown. Proceed to create 
create a different query for each particle type, which counts the number of particles in each bin. Enable subsection coloring to observe the particle distribution throughout the simulation. Also enable on-screen query to display a counter per bin. Before moving on to the next analysis part, set the bin group display mode to never. Then head to the graphing section within the analyst to investigate contact forces between particle layers. Choose the appropriate graph type, select the materials which will be examined, enter the appropriate settings. and finally generate the graph. The results will provide an insight into the process and quality of mixing. Repeat this for each pair of particle types. The last stage of this tutorial will examine the forces experienced by particles. First, return to the 3D viewer and create a second grid bin group. Adjust the number of bins and create a new query, which will display the maximum normal force experienced by a particle within each bin. Enable subsection coloring. and also enable all sphere-to-sphere -sphere contacts in the type filter. The forces on particles can now be observed when playing back the simulation.